Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Stick together. Drone is up. Heads up. We've got enemy activity. Remember, relocate after firing. Enemy drone overhead. Marking position now. Hostiles are going loud. Shit, man down! Tower is back online. Keep eye on the tower, boys. Go down. Remaining. Let's get this done. Rogue visual with the enemy. Got him. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. The 
flying drone. Drone is air enemy drone airborne. Enemy is in the tree line. Heads up. We've got enemy activity. Fuck the maid. Enemies lost the visual. Clear. Enemy drone, watch it. Hostiles are going loud. Recon Tower is back online. Tango down. Hang on. I'm on the tower. Cover me. Drone overhead. Man down, man down. Drone destroyed. Recon Tower is back online. Down. Coming for you. I'll fix you.
enemy drone. Watch it. Recon power is back online. Drone destroyed. Any activity. Marking position now. My location, artillery. Prevent revives and get ammo. Man down, man down. Frag out. Gotcha, man. Hang on. Cover me. I'll get Soviet. Man down, man down. So far, so good. Uh, they have definitely improved on this concept. So, I'm not really sure what to say so far, but I'm gonna see if I can't unlock one of the classes. Uh, I don't know if skill points is how you do that. I think it's, yeah, it seems like skill points is how you unlock the different classes. I actually like that. Uh, it would be a bit weird if you could just pick anything out of the gate. But with this thing, you can choose a, spe a speciality, basically. And I like that. So, I don't think I'm going to point pick tank. Point man is probably what fits my playstyle most. Uh, I wonder if we want to pick Enforcer or if we are going to try one of the other ones. I actually think we can purchase the Enforcer just because I'm a bit curious about it. Besides, I like the entire suppressive fire aspect of it all. So now we have the Point Man and we can actually edit our appearance. That's nice.
So I'm gonna try and make her look like one of my mains from... Or we could just do the fun part. I think we're gonna do the fun part, actually. And I'm not gonna make her... F make it a female. Instead, we are going to... Make it the way we sh really should have from the beginning. So, let's just get rid of that beard. That's not really the one we're looking for, I think. It might be... Too young, not enough. No, yeah, I think it's the killer face. And if I think you know what's coming here, and no, it's shaved, not squared away. Sweet. Seems like you can have a bit more tattoos. Like you can unlock the DJ Perico uh, tattoo and everything. So, with the ghostly skull, I think you know what's coming here, don't you? If you don't know what's coming, just take a look at my profile pic and you'll know. You'll know. So, uh, now we're on to the helmet and stuff like that. Yeah, he doesn't wear any goggles. Mm, he has the bandana, not a bandana, he has the shimag. The white shimag. Apparently, the f fact... Oh, it's the backpack that's the wrong color. And he doesn't have that. And headset is olive drab, so let's go with that. We'll go with the fingerless Kevlar, because that's what I wear to my... And, yeah, he really... It seems like I can't actually wear the sapper bag to this thing. So we'll just go with the sandstone rush, because that's what I wear to mine. And when it comes to patches, this is nice. This is actually really nice. And we're going for the... I want to use the, you know, the standard Ghost Recon skull. There we go. And there we have it. Our point man is now Holt. Oh, this is nice. I, I don't know what I... Uh, I think I expected us to be able to, you know, change out the weapons and everything like that. Maybe we can actually... Yeah, we can actually change out the presets and then rate and color our guns that's kind of nice it would have been nicer if we could I, th I think actually we might actually be able to unlock weapon parts but that's just me dreaming and it would just be icing on the cake really uh, yeah pretty sweet actually so our perk right now is trainee and that means experience gain is increased so we're gonna check out the enforcer she carries a mk48 machine gun and has a decent perk and the smg11 and an empty spot so i think we're gonna go with a different appearance here at least here we can choose the female and let's see what I yeah not I don't really want to pick the shag yeah there we go so I want to have both options basically uh, let's see here uh, DLC clothing doesn't seem to be available but f at least for me I would say that DLC clothing would be a big, a big way for Ghost War to shine. Because you, if you use Ghost War and allow people to, you know, show off their DLC in it, I think the DLC w may be a better model. Now, I'm basically just talking while I am outfitting my 
trooper here with gray cry a little bit of black let's just check check the backpack and i don't think i want that uh, the purse no uh believe everything we're gonna equip her in a whole different way she's gonna get a pair of goggles no face wear headwear I'm gonna make her into a gear I like to call the 511 recruit. The reason I call it that is because it's very similar to what I wear when camping or when similar like that. That's basically all my 511 kit. So we are going for yeah, we're going for the clothes, the tops, the polo shirt. The polo shirt is, in case you didn't know that, and there's no reason to know it because it's nerdy as hell, is the 511 performance polo. And I like it. I wear it to work, and it's one of the best polos ever made. Uh, let's see here. Sandstone pants. 511 pants. Yep. There we go. So that's our enforcer, and we, of course, we need to check out the, uh, the painting scheme, so. It doesn't seem we can customize it more than this, but in a way, I'm not entirely sure that's needed. I also wonder if they actually did, did something to the entire thing, so. Never mind that. We're just gonna switch dark gray for that one, and we're good to go. Actually, the entire thing that we are allowed to use the character smith in multiplayer, it is what I expected, but I got scared there for a while. My parents wasn't safe. Let's see. down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Drone destroyed. Scout. Enemy drone overhead. We've got enemy activity. Marking position now.
Get back into cover. I'm gonna flank Come right. Down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Drone. That enemy activity. Marking position now. Hostiles are going loud. Taking heavy fire. Marking position now. are going loud. Here we go. Frag out. Frag out. Frag out. Come here to Culeros. Two in the building. Door.
I liked how two grenades into the room where they was didn't do a diddly dick. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Enemy activity. Marking position now. Enemy drone overhead. Heads up. We got enemy activity. Drone. Watch it. Hostiles are going loud. Taking fire. Man down. He's dead. Hostile down. Tango Watch down. By the tower. Got him. Fuck, I'm made. I'm under heavy fire. Frag out, get some. Recon power is back online. Tango down.
Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Enemy activity. Marking position now. Enemy drone, drone overhead. Enemy drone spotted. I pinned down somebody, shoot that fucker! Going loud. We've got enemy activity. Marking position now. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Drone going up. We've got enemy activity. Marking position now. Enemy drone, watch it. Heads up, we got enemy activity. Enemy drone airborne. Go down. I'm man down, down man down. Here. Enemy drone, watch it. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. Shit, man down. Enemy activity. Marking position now.
to kill. Thank you. Let's unlock one more class, if I can, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, unlock, equip, play game, but yeah, then I most likely will feel that I'm pushing my limits here. Not really sure why Enforcer is in the Marksman category. I wouldn't really call it that, but hey, whatever works, right? Okay, so I got an upgrade point. I don't know. I'm not sure that's the same thing as a skill point. It could be, but not not convinced. The tank is interesting, but I don't think that's what I'm looking for. I think actually using unlocking one of the perks would be better, really. So we're going with Scout, and we are going to outfit said Scout, so we have one in each category. We'll use the MP7, and we'll edit our appearance, thank you. Interesting that they actually have something called Scout headset and everything like that. I don't really feel that it fits, I mean, who the hell would wear this? combat but hey this guy can get an eye patch at any rate a black one Yeah, since he is a drone operator, it would feel wrong for him to wear, not have, you know, a drone thingy, so. I'm not gonna make him into what you would call a Midas, but I'm gonna make him a bit Midas inspired, if that's alright with you. All right, so last game.
Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Deploying drone. Enemy activity. Marking position now. Enemy drone. Watch it. Heads up. We've got enemy activity. Hostiles are going loud. Spread out, guys. They got a motor drone. Thank you. Thanks. The houses. One house Got him. Remaining. Let's get this done. Oh, 
That was kind of cool. Shooting an oil barrel to get the guy. on me. Broke visual with the enemy. Enemy position located. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. The drone is up. We've got enemy activity. Marking position now. Stay down. Let them come to us. On target, on target. Shit, man down. Frag out. Let me the culeros. The recon tower is back online.
They are at my body currently. Compromised. On top of the crane. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Deploying drone. They got me marked. That man can't take me. Marking position now. They're advancing along the right flank. Heads up. We've got enemy activity. One sniper, left flank. Drone overhead. Hostiles are going loud. Throwing their fire. Enemies lost visual. Clear. Got two of them.
So, what are my impressions of Ghost War, you might ask? Well, first of all, I have spent three days at Comic-Con Stockholm and another three days at a work event. Understandably, you are getting my opinion when I am dead fucking tired. But I have to say, I feel that it rises above my expectations. Because they could have made this just your average third-person shooter. They could have. And part of me wouldn't have blamed them for doing it that way. Uh, I would have been mad about it. But I think that the multiplayer <coughs> is actually very much in the Wildlands spirit. In that it uses drones, it uses spotting, it uses positioning. All those things that you learn in single player are actually, for once, highly applicable in the multiplayer. While at the same time they prevent all those bastard solutions that sometimes in single player can be a bit ridiculous. Now... Ubisoft, I have just one thing to say to close off this video. You have shown in Ghost War that a system that where you carry one primary and one secondary is possible. You do not have any excuse left not to implement that in single player. Capish? Good. Now that we got that out of the way, good night. I'm going for a good night's sleep for once.